and we go three by one. Now, three by one is something that I've kind of changed from Coach Leach just because I went three by one. So the play side's always to the three receivers. But the thing about it is the rules don't change. So if we're calling spot right, this guy just has to know where am I, where do I get to if I'm two by two? Where in spot? Basically, if I were running that inside slant, I'd get to over the football. But he's doing the same thing. If he's front side, he's just getting over the football, except this time he's sitting down. Backside, he's still running slants because that's the rules on spot. If you're backside, you run slants. Front side, we still got the corner out of the inside receiver, the spot route and the back swinging. Now we don't really, we don't tell the receivers this because we don't want them to know. On, if we run it two by two, we just tell that quarterback to pick a side and work it. You know, if you want to work the spot side, you can. Um, start on the spot side and those double slants will sit down backside and they kind of become your check downs if you start on the spot side. If you start on the double slant side, there is no real check down. You're throwing double slants, reading the inside out. Uh, read inside out and throw one of the two. Now, three by one, like I said, we caught spot because everything's the exact same except for this guy right here. He has to get to over the ball, but that's where he would get to if you're on that back side. The difference is we read it We read it truly across the board starting on the back side. So we read it, the slant is one, to over the ball two, to the spot route three, or the search route three, all the way back here to the four, to this, to this running back. If you just love your matchup, and you know it's man or something, you could maybe start on this corner out, but we never throw it. We read those other guys. He doesn't know that, though, so we try to – we want him to keep running hard. Um, but the key, again, we think we can execute slants at a high level. You're about to see here, same sort of deal. And the, what I love about this drill, if you have enough quarterbacks, the ball should come out on time. So our first read, this guy's throwing it on this backside slant one. Okay, this ball should come out next. This guy's throwing it two. This ball should then come out three. And then this ball should come out last to this running back over here. That guy's just going through the motions. That's why he's no longer here. 